Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with my layout for round six of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club Telephone Hop. I cannot believe we are on round six. That is crazy, but I so love these hops and I always love seeing how the layout changes by the time it gets to the last person. So before the layout started, you will have seen my inspiration which was from Danny who was right before me and so I have have taken inspiration from her layout and so what I went ahead and started with was I took my fringe scissors and several scraps of pattern paper. I want to say all of the pattern papers that I'm using except for the cardstock at the very back of my layout are all from Vicki Booten. I don't remember if it was her first or second collection, but all of the papers are from Vicki Booten. And so the first thing I did, I only showed sort of the last layer of fringe that I created for that backer piece of my layout. But I basically took my fringe scissors and I just cut those strips and layered them up on a piece of scrap paper and that is going to act as my sort of main sort of interest or textural element on the background of my layout and then once I have that I am just taking these other pattern papers and I'm going to layer them up I kept pretty true to the original layout in that I have these sort of framed out layers that match the way the original layout looked. And then I am going to keep to the idea of having my photos and sort of my main embellishment, or not my main embellishment, but my photos themselves to be more toward the center. And so I do kind of keep my layout similar to the inspiration in that way. And then I kind of do my own thing with the embellishments as you will see as we go. I do also have two photos, so I do have that in common as well. So here now you see the two photos that I'm going to use. And the two photos that I have today for my page are from the Lion King show at Animal Kingdom. And so I am scrapping some Lion King photos. And so I am just getting these all matted up again with another scrap of pattern paper from Vicki Booten's collection. And so I am just going to layer up these two photos and get those ready for my layout. I definitely will say my, my photos are not quite as cute as Danny's were in her layout, but I always love anything to do with Disney. And so I never tire of creating Disney layouts, that's for sure. So now you're going to kind of see me play around with how I want to lay out these two photos. I do know that I want to add this journaling card as well to the right of that of the second photo. And so I do need to sort of make a sort of space or room for that journaling card. Now I don't actually do journaling on that card, but I do know I want to use it. So because I need to sort of make room for that, I am going to trim down these um, frames for my photos a little bit so that I can better sort of fit everything. So it kind of all fits across that fringed background that I created. And I absolutely love that fringe background. I always forget how much I enjoy using my fringe scissors. And then when I create a background like this, I it makes me want to pull them out more. I was originally the inspiration to use the fringe was actually from the photo. If you can see it there on the sort of float kind of things that they have some of the characters on around the like symbol, like in this case, I have the picture of the lion. There's sort of like this... I don't know, it's kind of, I call it fringe around that. And so that kind of gave me the inspiration to 
pull out my fringe scissors and do this sort of fringed look to kind of mirror the fringe that you see on that float, as well as a lot of the costumes have sort of like a fringe because they're animal type costumes. And so I really love how it all turned out. Now, the other thing that I did do was add some Heidi Swap color shine to my background, and that becomes the only mixed media that I add to this because I'm using that pattern paper that already sort of has the feel of some mixed media. I didn't have to actually add any mixed media, which was great because when I was creating this layout, I was short on time and didn't really have time to wait for mixed media to dry. So having papers like this in your stash is a great way to get the look without having to put in a lot of time to create a background. So that's one thing I really love when I'm short on time, but I want to create is to be able to have backgrounds like this. And now you will see that I've got the main elements of my background done and I am now doing the fun part of embellishing my layout. I have one of the pattern papers that had all of those florals from the Vicki Booten collection and I went ahead and fussy cut all of those florals out of that pattern paper and I am going to use those as my main sort of embellishment for my page. I have two embellishments clusters, one that's going to go to the top left and one to the bottom right. So I have that diagonal design kind of going with these two embellishment clusters. And then I also have these little bird paper clips. And while I like them, I have a very hard time using the paper clips themselves. And so I just went ahead and cut out a lot of the white outline around the birds and then cut off the actual paper clips so I could make them just into sort of two bird embellishments that I could kind of tuck into my clusters, which is perfect for me. It makes it much easier to use those kinds of embellishments. So as you see here, this is pretty much how the main areas of this layout are going to come together. I am going to kind of play with the sticker book here from Vicki Booten a little bit to try to see if there was anything else I wanted to use. At this point, I can't decide if there's really anything else I want, so I do decide to jump to creating my title. I have some gold flat stickers that I believe are probably from Joann's, I want to say, and then I have these thicker words, which are from an old Amy Tan collection, I believe. And I am going to use those to spill out my title, which is a forever favorite. So for my family, for sure, the Lion King show is one of our favorites to go and see when we are in Animal Kingdom. We almost always try to take in a show when we go to Disney. And so it kind of was a perfect title for this layout. So once I had all of the main elements and my title down, I did go ahead and stop the camera and glue everything down. I popped up some of the florals on some fun foam just to add some lift and some dimension. And then I am just going to finish up this little journaling card with the words Akuna Matata. Ooh, that was a hard one to get out. Akuna Matata because, of course, that is one of the famous sayings from the movie. And of course there is a song. And so I felt like that was sort of like the perfect thing to put on this little journaling card. And so that's what I'm going to do here with these two different types of letter stickers, which worked out perfectly on that little journaling card. I do later on add a few word strips as well. So I think if I was going to add journaling, it'll probably be somewhere down below the photo, I'm thinking if I try to add some, it'll probably be down there. I don't do it before I take photos of the layout, so we will see. Eventually, I will add some journaling. I did pull out those puffy stickers and put one in each of my clusters, as well as now I am just going to take my Mickey head punch and, of course, add a Mickey head to the layout. That is typically what I will do on all Disney layouts. And so he is going to go there to the bottom right cluster. 
here is where I just take out two of those little word strips and they are going to go on that journaling card. So I really, really love how this layout came together. I love the colors. The colors remind me and the fringe and things like that. They all remind me of the colors and the feeling of how bright and colorful the Lion King show is. And so I absolutely adore how this layout came together. It's it's different in the fact that I don't typically, I don't feel like I do a whole lot of like this many colors together with a crazy fun background like that, but I really do love how it all turned out. Now I was feeling like that big forever in the title, it being black, I felt like I needed to add some additional black elements. And so I did pull two of those black hearts from that thicker sheet as well. And that kind of just helped pull the black through the entire layout. So it didn't feel like that title stood out quite so much. I am going to pull out some little gold, sparkly gold heart hearts that I punched. And I'm going to just dot those in each of my clusters. Those will kind of help finish out the embellishment clusters. And then here in just a sec, I am going to pull out some sequins and I'm going to use the sequins to dot the centers of all of the flowers in each of my clusters. And that just kind of is my finishing touch for this layout. So still photos will be coming up here in just a sec. And I will have Danny's channel linked below. So if you missed her layout and how it came together, you can check that out in the link below. And I will have Sandy or State Goddess here on YouTube. I'll have her channel linked below because she is going to be next up in the hop and her video will come up tomorrow so you can see her take on my layout. So guys, here are the still photos and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.